Welcome to Remind. In this video, we'll explore the features in your teacher account so you can feel confident communicating with your class communities. Let's start with a brief overview of Remind. In a nutshell, Remind is a communication tool to help you stay connected. Your Remind account is accessible via the web or on our iOS and Android mobile apps for easy messaging on the go. We support message delivery as push notifications, SMS texts, or emails. Remind is built for education, so your personal contact information always stays private. With Remind, you can strengthen relationships with students and parents through meaningful communication. Let's dive into your teacher account and go over the basics of getting started. If you're creating an account for the first time, go to remind.com and click sign up in the top right corner. Enter your email address, then your first and last names and create a password. From there, you'll be prompted to select your role by clicking I'm a teacher and name your very first class. You can then connect to your school by searching for your school name from the search bar. If your school is creating official accounts for you, you'll be notified via email. You can log in with the email address you receive or Go to Remind.com and click Login in the top right corner. Enter your school email address. When you log into the web browser, you'll see your classes on the left side, and you can view any owned classes and any classes you have joined. Ready to set up your classes? If your school is rostered, your classes and enrollments will be created for you using information from your school's student information system. Your school will notify you via email when your classes are ready, and you'll log into Remind with your rostered school email address to see a list of new classes to claim. You can click Finish to access. In addition to rostered classes, you can always create an additional class for extracurriculars, sports teams, or tutoring groups. To create a new class, click the blue plus button Create a Class. From here, you can give it a name, and personalize the code if you'd like. Make sure to link it to your school so that your class gets full advantage of your school's Remind plan, such as longer messages. Once you've created a class, you'll want to get people in the class. With rostered classes, enrollments will happen automatically, but for any classes you create yourself, you can add people a few ways. Click the Add People button in the top right corner. From here, you can input contact information by role to send out invitations to join the class. You can also share your class code and show parents and students how to join by texting the class code, including the at sign, to the number 81010. Now that your class is set up, you're ready to start sending messages. In Remind, you can send announcements, have one-on-one -on -one conversations, or start a group conversation. Announcements are one my messages out to your whole class or a role within the class. Great for sending out weekly newsletters or class assignments. Replies to your announcements will only be viewable by you. One-on-one -on -one conversations are messages between you and one other participant, like chatting with a parent about student grades. A group conversation allows you to message up to nine people at once so they can chat together. It's a great way to lead student projects or communicate with field trip chaperones. From the Messages tab, you can send announcements to the class. To quickly bring up the Message Composer with the full class as the recipient list, simply click on the text bar at the bottom of the screen. This will send an announcement to everyone in the class. Once in the Message Composer, you can add videos or attachments and use connected accounts such as Google Classroom, and even schedule your announcements to go out in advance. From the Messages tab, you can also send messages to specific people by clicking on the blue pencil icon in the top left. You can choose to message a class you own, a role within a class, or search for a specific person by typing in their name. To start a group conversation, simply search and select the participants by name. You can also translate a message and select your desired language. Click Send once your message is ready to go out. 
files sent in your messages will be stored here in the Files tab for easy access. To view the class lists or drill into specific users, head to the People tab for the class. You can filter by role and click into a user profile to view connected family members, classes, or add a private note for your own reference. Click the small three dots for more user actions, such as removing a user from the class. If your school has included voice calls in their Remind plan, you can make calls for people in your classes while still keeping your personal number private. Simply select the blue button from the top right corner that says Make a Call. If you make a call to any participant that is accepting calls via Remind, your phone will ring first, connecting you to a proxy number. All calls are logged and call notes are stored within the message thread with the call recipient making it easy to keep track of all your communication in one place. When it comes time for meetings or parent-teacher conferences, visit your call notes for reference. Last up, if you need to change a class name or add a class owner, you can do so from the Settings tab. Now that you're oriented to your account and classes, let's go over how to personalize your account preferences. To set your account preferences, Click on the name in the top left and click Account Settings. From the Profile tab, you can edit your signature, which is the name that will appear when you send out messages. You can change your password, review your current organizations, or join a new one. From the Notification Preferences tab, you can turn notifications on or off for each device linked to your account. You can add a new device, such as a mobile number. You can choose your calling and messaging preferences as well. Allowing replies to your messages sets up two-way communication on Remind. Lastly, you can set office hours so that people know the best time to reach you. Calls made to you outside of office hours will not be completed, so make sure to communicate your office hours to your class. If you'd like to explore our integrations and sign into your connected accounts, you can do so from the App Integrations tab. If you need to manage your classes, you can head to the Archived Classes tab. From here, you can restore archived classes, reuse a previous class code, or archive any current classes that you no longer need in your class list. Now you're all set! If you're ready to learn more, check out some creative ways to use Remind in the classroom and explore our resources page for more tips. That wraps up our video. Thanks for all you do to support your students.